Welcome to Ocean County Focus. I'm Donna Flynn, your host. Joining me today is Ocean County Clerk Scott Colabella, and we're going to be chatting about some of the services and programs that come out of Scott's office. But the first thing we're going to be talking about is actually the upcoming primary election. Scott, thank you so much for joining me today. Always my pleasure. It's It's been an interesting ride the past couple of years when it comes to the elections. Yes. Um, and you are one of the key individuals in Ocean County that works with ballots and making sure everything is, is proper and ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Board of Elections that, that's um, always working with this too. I wanted to ask you, I mean, we've come off of full mail-in elections and then we've now we've started with early um, elections and that sort of thing. What are the voters looking at when it comes to the June primary for 2022? Okay, well, uh, again, thanks for having me and uh, you are right. Um, uh, the voters have had to gone through quite a different amount of experiences when they cast their ballot. Um, and obviously the last couple of years because of COVID. Right. Um, but they are going to have uh, basically the same type of an election format that we had last November. Okay. Um, we always have vote by mail. Right. That's with us forever. And our office just sent out over 50,000 vote by mail ballots mm -hmm. to registered voters in Ocean County um, April 23rd. Okay. So people have already voted, believe it or not, in the wow. primary and sent that ballot back to the Board of Elections. Mm -hmm. And they can obtain that from our office mm -hmm. um, up until the day before Election Day at 3 o'clock. Uh, the applications are online or they can come in person and do okay. it if they haven't already done that. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing that just started last year and it's going to continue, this will be the first primary election is early voting. Okay. What's early voting? Um, three days before the primary, mm -hmm. Friday. And the date of the primary this year? The primary is June 7th. Okay. And early voting, if I have my uh, calendar right in my head, uh, begins on June 3rd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Yes. Okay. It'll be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh -huh. um, 10 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, it's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, the locations are very similar to last year. I'm holding a prop out because something voters are going to get to help educate them, and it'll be on our website, as everything is, right. the sample ballot. Okay. And it has a list of all the early voting locations in Ocean County. That looks there'll, extensive. It there'll looks be like 10 of them. of them. Okay. And they're mainly at the Ocean County Library okay. branches um, because they, they're able to facilitate, they have good parking, right. um, and they meet the requirements that the state has given us to do early voting. Mm -hmm. And also is a list of the vote by mail drop boxes. Okay. So uh, people may be leery of personally bringing their vote by mail ballot in person back to the Board of Elections, they can do that. Mm -hmm. um, they can put it in the U.S. mail. They may be leery of that, or they can put it in one of these ballot drop box locations, right. which those are all listed on the sample ballot. Mm -hmm. And early voting. So that contains something that um, is new for voters, unless they did it last November. First thing is, is we no longer have the whole books manually right. where you actually use a pen and sign a piece of paper mm -hmm. when you enter the the polling place um, there are pads and they're electronic like they are at a retail establishment okay. for you paying by credit card so people are are used to that mm -hmm. and uh, so they go through an electronic poll book which they'll also use on election day mm -hmm. but uh, they'll be using a different machine the newest machine available at the early voting poll places. They have a card that activates the machine. Okay. And the, on the screen is the ballot for that particular municipality. Mm -hmm. And this year, um, something very specific to this election is the Office of County Committee. Okay. They're representatives of each political party mm -hmm. that represent the individual voting district. They're the ambassador to the political party for that district. Right. And they're elected in Ocean County every four years. Okay. Now, it makes it, um, uh, it adds to our efforts because rather than having one ballot per town, one ballot style, right. Right. 
there are 413 voting districts in Ocean County, and you multiply that by two by both parties, right. and you're over 800 and something mm -hmm. versions of a ballot, right. of which we have to have at all of these early voting centers. Because mm -hmm. remember, the other nice thing about early voting, if you work in Tom's River, right. but you live in Manahawkin, right. you could vote in Tom's River, right. I was vice gonna, versa. Right, I wanted, I wanted you to hit on that, as a matter yeah. of fact, because you're so, talking about 33 municipalities, but. 10 early voting sites. Yes. So those machines are geared up to have every, every, every voting district Absolutely. for Ocean Absolutely. County. Okay. So uh, people can wipe the thought out of their mind that they have to go to the early voting center in the town that they live in, right. because obviously there isn't an early voting center in all 33 towns, mm -hmm. but there are 10 throughout the county and your ballot for your town will be on every machine. And the ballot, after they fill it out on the screen, uh, they'll be given a uh, um, stylus uh, okay. to mark the ballot. Mm -hmm. um, they then print it out and they put it and it's scanned. So we do have a paper ballot, which everyone has been calling for right. to alleviate concerns about machines, calculating sure. votes. We'll you know, also have that backup mm -hmm. of a, a paper ballot. Mm -hmm. And that's basically early voting, which I want to add, we have a video on our website. Right. If someone wants to acclimate themselves to how to actually do this and how it works, it also has the new poll books, the electronic poll pads mm -hmm. on it. Um, and it'll give them an idea before they go to early voting if right. that's what they want. And our final uh, uh, alternative for people is election day itself. Right. You can still go to your polling place in your town and uh, vote on a machine, mm -hmm. and uh, that will be the primary coming. And I think we're going to want to talk about um, congressional redistricting. Right, right. And actually, though, we're going to take a quick break okay. because we've come to the end of this segment. Okay. And we're going to be right back here on Ocean County Focus. When it comes to getting around Ocean County, Ocean Ride is ready to serve you. Hi, I'm Freeholder Gary Quinn. Ocean Ride is a service of the Ocean County Board of Chosen Freeholders that provides a host of transportation alternatives to Ocean County residents. If you need to get to a doctor, if you want to take a trip to the shopping mall, or if you rely on public transportation to get to work, we have the solution for you. For more information on Ocean Ride services and bus schedules, call 732-736-8989, extension 4, or visit our website. Try Ocean Ride. We'll get you where you need to go. Ocean County Board of Commissioners, working to make Ocean County a better place to call home and a special place to visit. Welcome back to Ocean County Focus. Joining me today is Ocean County Clerk Scott Colabella. Scott, when we went to break, we were talking about the June primary coming up and, right. and what can people expect at the polls and, you know, the, the options that they have for voting. And I just wanted to go back to a little bit when you were talking about the early voting. Mm -hmm. How did Ocean County fare last year with early voting? I mean, it was the first time we mm -hmm. experienced it. It was done during the general election. Yes, um, actually we did very well. Mm -hmm. We were uh, second in the state of the 21 counties. Monmouth was first um, in people participating. And the interesting thing to me was we were being told before in other states that do early voting mm -hmm. is um, it starts out heavy, it goes down during the week, and then it comes back on a weekend. Right. And we were just the opposite. Every day, just about of the seven days that we had in the general election, it increased. Really? Yeah. So um, whether that, I think a lot of it might have been word of mouth. Right, um, right. People in a uh, um, community, went on the first day, thought it worked out well, right. went back to their community, started talking, you know, I did the early voting, I'm right. done, it worked out well, and then, you know, each day the volume increased. So, yeah. and, um, and I have to think that early voting does help with folks that are working full time or their yeah. also your commuter population. And, I mean, and they don't want to do and, the mail, right. they would rather go in person. Right, and, so it really is, I, I, you know, it, it seems to be a, a beneficial option mm -hmm, to the voters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 
we were also talking before a little bit about the the, the um, sample ballot that mm -hmm. folks would be getting mm -hmm. in the mail, and they may be looking for some things on the ballot that they're not finding, and there mm -hmm. has been some redistricting. Yes. Explain to me what redistricting sure. is and what how that might affect this on right. this upcoming election. Right. Well, it happens every ten years. Um, again, we have that word COVID. It was delayed right. because. Um, we went into a new decade in 2021, mm -hmm. right? After 2020, and actually 2021 is when the census was delayed because of COVID. Right. So redistricting was delayed, and it now goes into effect this year because we have congressional districts mm -hmm. on the ballot. Mm -hmm. So something voters are gonna find is uh, in redistricting, Ocean County, uh, prior to this election, used to have three congressional districts, mm -hmm. the second, the third, and the fourth. Okay. The third has now been removed from Ocean County. Um, it covers more of Burlington and Mercer and portions of Monmouth, mm -hmm. and we just have two congressional districts covering our county. And the easiest way to put it without getting into town by town right. is the southern part of the county, basically from where town south, including Manahawk and, and Little Lake Harbor and Tuckerton um, and the Barrier Island LBI is right. in the second congressional district. Okay. And the northern part of the county, Toms River, Point Pleasant, Brick, um, is in the fourth congressional district. Okay. And we have two very unique things that the redistricting commission uh, gave us is um, we have two towns where they are split amongst the congressional district. Oh, okay. Berkeley okay. has uh, portions of it are in the second congressional district and portions are in the fourth district. Mm -hmm. On top of that, for the first time in history in Ocean County, we have a voting district in Berkeley that is split between congressional districts. Wow. Not a town, an actual district right. is split between the second and the fourth congressional district. And Lacey has one district in the second congressional district, and all of its other districts are in the fourth. Mm -hmm. um, those are the only towns that vary in congressional districts by town, all right. the others it covers. So when voters get their ballot, they ought to take a good look at it, their sample ballot, right, right. and educate themselves. They might be wondering, well, I know I was in the third congressional district, right. and this was my congressman, right. why don't I have that anymore. Why mm -hmm. am I now in the second or the fourth congressional district? Mm -hmm. It is because of redistricting. And next year's cycle, voters are going to see the state legislative districts different than they are currently now. We still have the ninth, the 10th, the 12th, and the 30th. Right. However, uh, some towns in the ninth uh, may have taken some towns that were in the 10th and mm -hmm. uh, you know, various changes like that. But the focus this year is congressional, it's a right. federal election year, and voters need to know um, that they're gonna see new congressional districts on their ballots starting in the primary. When you have to bring it down to an actual voting district, mm -hmm. how difficult is that for your office to figure out who gets what at what yeah. point? It's, I mean, that seems almost <laughs> like a street by street thing or, or yeah. you know. Um, well, the Board of Elections actually does the mapping and okay. the districting. Um, that's their responsibility once they get the information from the State Redistricting okay. Commission. Um, however, when I was talking earlier about county committee, that's where a big difference for our office. Rather than designing a ballot for one municipality and it's the same ballot from top to bottom for every voting district, think of a Tom's River with a ton of voting districts right. and every ballot is different per district because of that office of county committee. Sure. So um, very time consuming process to right. proof those ballots, right. program them, right. um, and make sure uh, that every voter gets the correct ballot. Right. Yeah. So honestly, though, the voting is still seamless to the voter. Mm -hmm. It's the, the work is is on your side, really, or on yes. uh, and, and with your staff. Um, the other thing I did wanted to ask you about, um, you know, because there's often there's especially recent years and, and, and I, I believe these questions have been out there for probably for as long as we've always voted. But 
People are always, people are very concerned about the security of yeah, their va of their absolutely. ballots now, and and is there fraud and that sort of thing. And um, you know, I know that there's very various steps that are in place, but I wanted you to address some of that sure, as to sure. what is the security that that allows me to mm. feel comfortable about casting my right, ballot. Right. Um, as you say, it's definitely it's people are inundated with stories, whether they are valid or not, from the internet, from social media to uh, the news mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I can say, at least in Ocean County, and I speak for our uh, Board of Commissioners, for our uh, election board, who are, we work so closely with, right. and our office, uh, we work day and night, as do our brothers and sisters and elections in other counties in mm -hmm. Ocean County to do our level best to make sure we do an election that there is no doubt, there's no fraud, um, and that things are secure in the, in the day and age we live in. Right. With, um, talk about um, uh, foreign entities right. getting involved right. in an election and hacking mm -hmm. into our computer system. I should mention our IT department with right. the county. They work so hard day mm -hmm. and night to make sure we have a good, secure system. So to really put this in perspective, I think um, people are talking about the uh, vote-by-mail drop boxes right, right. where voters can put their vote-by-mail ballot in. And I don't think people realize, they may tend to think that when the Board of Elections um, uh, removes the ballots on mm -hmm. a daily basis and brings them back to their office, that they physically touch the envelopes doesn't happen. Right. There's a steel container inside those drop boxes. Mm -hmm. And when the Board of Elections goes out to pick up the day's ballots that were put in by voters, they never touch a ballot right. at the drop box. Right. They're in a locked steel container that simply rolls out from the drop box. Mm -hmm. That's then logged and brought back to the Board of Elections where it's then opened right. in a secure environment. And it's replaced by an empty ballot container drop box mm -hmm. that goes right back in. So it's good to know that human hands aren't, I think people envision they're removing ballots and tossing them in a a basket or whatever right. they and, may and do. As, you know, we, it, during the break, you had even mentioned, like, if there's a wind, they don't blow away yes. and, and, and exactly. that sort of They're thing. They're never outside right. that, that steel closed container. Um, so that should be, and the other thing is, is whatever the board does in the election process, because that's where the ballots are actually counted. Right. There are representatives from both political parties. Mm -hmm. They do nothing with one political party. Right. Um, so there's eyes, ears, hands, there's security, there's mm -hmm. sheriff officers involved right. um, in, in this process that they really do their due diligence, mm -hmm. working long hours um, to ensure that it's a credible outcome. And we also do our darn level best to make sure the results are transparent right. and they're on our website right. and they're updated and when people look at those results at the top of that page, they could see where the votes are actually coming from. The polling place. We have a separate tabulation for early voting. Right. We have a separate category for vote by mail. Mm -hmm. And then when the provisional ballots, and just to be specific about those, those are paper ballots at the polling place. When you go, if for whatever reason they cannot find you in the voter registration right. list, you're still able to cast a ballot, maybe not on the machine, but on this paper ballot, right. and those are counted after the election. Right. So um, it's it's a very uh, complicated, time-consuming process, but in the end, I think, um, at least in Ocean County, the voters can feel confident that um, it's a good, secure process. Very good to hear. And we're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna be right back here on Ocean County Focus. Hi, I'm Freeholder Ginny Haynes. Join me on this tour of some of Ocean County's premier park sites.
Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation has something for everyone. Try us out. You won't be disappointed. The Ocean County Board of Commissioners working to make Ocean County a better place to call home and a special place to visit. And welcome back to Ocean County Focus. Scott, when we went to break, we were talking about the upcoming June primary election and the options people have for voting. And I just wanted to one more time have you say the, the sample ballot that's going to be on your website. Mm -hmm. When do you think that that, well, that will be on your website? Uh, towards the end of May, we'll have all the sample ballots on the website so the public can look at those. Then they can download them, print them out uh, before they get it in the mail. Perfect. Um, now, and I know your office is the record keepers for the county and, and um, you take care of a lot of different services. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to kind of update the, the viewers on passports. Mm -hmm. uh, during COVID, people were having a very difficult time getting yeah. them, took yeah. forever. Where are we right now with that? And also explain what your office's affiliation is with passports, sure. if you will. Um, well, we're in a better situation than we were a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, the State Department uh, employees were basically not in their offices. And um, uh, so there were massive delays um, and backlogs. And uh, our understanding is they've uh, done a good job of getting rid of the backlog. And we're about, uh, for routine uh, transaction, about eight to 11 weeks. Okay. Um, we do offer an expedited service, and that's five to seven weeks, a little mm -hmm. higher fee to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you wanted specifics about what we actually do. Well, we have four locations. You right. can go, Ocean County Mall is our busiest one, right, the county obviously, because they're open seven days a week mm -hmm. and easy to park and, mm -hmm. and the whole nine yards with that. We have one in the south in Manahawkin at the Southern Resource Center. Mm -hmm. We have one in Lakewood at the Northern Resource Center. Mm -hmm. And of course, our office um, at the courthouse in Toms River. Mm -hmm. And we are agents uh, for the U.S. State Department. Our employees go through a rigorous training program. And um, the forms, the applications are online. Okay. Um, people can download those and bring them to our office and we assist people to make sure all the I's are dotted, sure. the T's are crossed. Sure. Um, you need photos. We take the photos at all of our locations mm -hmm. so you don't have to go to a, a retail store to get right. that done. And then we package it and send it off to the U.S. State Department mm -hmm. and then your passport actually comes from them right. in, the, in the mail. Right. Um, so, so you guys are busy again, I'm guessing, with, with still getting these passports out yes. the door? Yes, yes. And are, you, are you, you having people come in directly to your offices now? Because they, during COVID, of course, they're coming in, but, but we changed it to an appointment process okay. and it really works well. Okay. The public understands why. One, it still limits the physical number of people right. in our Absolutely. offices. Yep. Um, and, and what we had occur before appointments is you might have someone come in f a couple minutes before we close. Mm -hmm. And passports don't take a couple minutes. It oh, takes yeah. about a half an hour right. for a transaction. Mm -hmm. So um, this it really helps us to schedule people. We call them the day before their appointment Confirming. as a reminder. Right. Right. Um, if uh, a certain location is booked up as the mall, sometimes maybe, or Lakewood, um, our staff can help the person, you know, everybody has a different situation. Sure. I'm going on a cruise right. very shortly. I'm right. going to Europe shortly. Right. That will work with you. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're online and you're trying to make the appointment and you're a little, little frazzled about it, just call our office. Okay. We'll do whatever we can to, to get you in. But yes, it is by appointment and it seems to have worked out really well. Okay. Um, another area that you guys take care of again is deeds and property mm -hmm. paperwork and sure. stuff like that. You instituted Property Alert, mm -hmm. um, a program which is, is great for, for helping with, you know, pointing out fraud or anything like that. Can you just yeah. briefly explain yeah. what that is? Unfortunately, in the world we live in today, um, uh, 
I think the FBI has said uh, mortgage fraud is one of the biggest uh, fraudulent uh, crimes that's occurring today. Um, people duplicate documents, they create documents that look absolutely legal mm -hmm. and um, uh, get recorded, unfortunately. And when you go to purchase a car, a large scale purchase, you find out you have a lien on your property or the property isn't yours anymore. Right. And you don't want that to happen to That's you. That's pretty scary. <laughs> it, it is very scary. So years ago, we started a property alert service, which it's very simple. First of all, it's free. Okay. Good. So you go online and if you have one property or a thousand properties, mm -hmm. you just need the lot and block number, the inf pertinent information about your property. You fill that out. We get it, and any time any documents recorded related to that property, you'll get an email. Right. It's just like if your credit card was stolen right, right. and Discover Card calls you up and said, did you make these purchases? Yeah. So right away, you you know about it. Now, what do you do if that does happen to you and you've signed up for this? You need to contact your attorney, law enforcement officials, right. and get a probe done but at least it's better than finding out years from now that this occurred sure, when you're absolutely. going to do another financial transaction. Mm -hmm. And on the good side, say you you just did a closing, you purchased a home, right. or you refinanced, you'll get an update in the email about where that is. We recorded the deed, we recorded the mortgage. Um, and I've had people tell me uh, each way, I'm so glad I signed up for this. It's, yeah, I it's would think. alerted me and, um, uh, yeah, we encourage anyone that owns property, please do it. It's a great service mm -hmm. and we're glad to offer it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and as you had said, in this day and age when security and fraud are always the, one of the mm -hmm. paramount questions that we all have with stuff anymore. Yeah. So to have a program that's free, easy to access, mm -hmm. and seems like it's, it's working really yeah. well. So that's yeah. important to yeah. do. Yeah. We're going to wrap up in just about a minute. So I just wanted to give you an opportunity to talk a little bit about this year's My Poster Contest, yes. Yes. Um, which is usually part of April, which is National County Government Week. Mm -hmm. You got it. We've been doing it for 29 years. It's for fourth grade students throughout the county and um, during COVID we started having the posters submitted electronically mm -hmm. and this year we offered them the opportunity to deliver the poster in person or email it. Guess what? We got one in person. All the students emailed their posters to us. Mm -hmm. Another great turnout and in a couple of weeks they're going to be on Facebook, the images, okay. and we allow the public to vote on their favorite poster. Mm -hmm. and then we have a nice ceremony with the commissioners um, and give the students some prizes and certificates to four finalists. So. Right. And what a great way to teach students, yeah. or, and especially yes. young, young yeah. students, about Ocean County. Yeah, Ocean County and government, you know, to, to realize. And um, it, it, it's, it's a great, and, and we have a lot of talented artists in Ocean County. So Absolutely. We're, we're proud of that, too. Alrighty, Scott, thank you so much for joining oh, me today. And I want to thank you for joining us here on Ocean County Focus. Have a good day. The Ocean County Board of Commissioners, working to make Ocean County a better place to call home, and a special place to visit.